Well, this was just gonna be a supply run day, so we weren't gonna record, but now we are. This is life with Paul and Lorena. Now, before we get too far into this video and what we're gonna do today, this is what we did yesterday. Why are we coming to the beach today, Lori? Well, it should not be looking at me. It should be looking at the people looking out. Oh, now. okay. Lots of people at the beach today. Everybody's here for the eclipse, which we're not going to see a bunch of. We're only going to get 90%. We are down here at the beach because we're doing the eclipse thing. And it's supposed to be how much here, you said? So they're saying 90% eclipse here, but supposedly that doesn't change the daylight at all here. Yes, and here in Los Barrios, they have a limited amount of glasses to see the eclipse, and we were not in the known. <laughs> we're not in the no. going all the time into social media Los Barrios, so they run out of them, and so we don't have glasses. Yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna look at the reflection in the ocean or something on the ground, make a pinhole camera. I don't know. We'll figure it out. But uh, supposedly 90%. Right now, that just blinded me. So yep, yeah, we're uh, about I don't know. 20% into it, so we'll figure it out. All right, we've created our little eclipse thing here. And uh, let's see if it will show up on video. Yeah, you gotta be just in the right spot, but I don't think it's going to come out on the camera. But yeah, that's that's great. All the other options, so I have a dark bucket. Ooh, let's try that. Well, All right, no, here's your well, makeshift viewer. Okay, yeah. Lori yeah, has this water. colander that's uh, <laughs> this strainer, I guess. I and then and I said, well, they teach it makes the uh, eclipse on the ground. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah. So we have that going here. And then over here we have the water, the water reflections going. And the water reflections, you have to be right at the right spot. Yep. That is so cool, isn't it? That's awesome. Here, I don't know if we'll see it anywhere. You gotta get the reflection just right, then it shows up, but I don't think you'll grab that with the phone. All right, we are at what we're gonna see as totality anyways. It's 95% or so here. And you can see that it got a little bit dimmer uh, you guys aren't going to see that. We notice it. This current, but here and you notice it just got a tiny bit cooler. But uh, th when you look up, it looks like it's just a normal, normal day. The only way you can see it is through the glasses. Some of these folks here have the glasses, which is really cool looking through those. And then we've got it here in our little reflection pools that work well. And then obviously you saw the colander, which worked really good. Pretty cool. We should borrow the glasses and see if they can see it. Of course, most people already saw it. They can see your video. Oh, that's right. We saw, them when, we saw them when they were getting their blood work done. Oh, how funny. <laughs> but he said you have to zoom in. Oh, okay. So there we have it. We're doing this, shooting this through the glasses. And then that's what it looks like without the glasses. So, pretty cool. Now, I'm sure that a lot of people did that yesterday. We weren't in full totality. But it was still pretty cool. But it still got shaded. The area got dim, like the light got very dim because we're still we're still between 90 and 95 percent. I already was 90. The people around us also was 95 percent totality. So we were very close. It looked through the glasses. It looked 95 percent. It was like just a sliver. 93.5, I think. 93.5. Okay, we'll go with that. <laughs> but it did not look like that really outside. Like if you tried to look up, you obviously couldn't. It's the sun. It was pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, I think it's very cool. I feel like you got surprised by the, how cool it was. You were not looking yeah, forward to it. Yeah, I was it. one of these people like, going, eh, whatever, solar eclipse. But it was pretty cool. Yes, it did dim slightly. I will say it got a little bit cooler, a little bit too. darker, and a lot, yeah, a little bit cooler. Like you notice, just the air got a little cooler. So that was changed. that was yeah. pretty cool. Even before that day, and I know Paul doesn't want to show this, but it was his birthday, and I surpri surprised him with a. Uh, a party that he hates, by the way. Yeah, I hate surprise parties. And because we we're so excited, uh, singing happy birthday, I somewhat forgot to re record, but I record just the last little bit of it. So we so, can put that down. I'll, I'll show you guys that. Wow. 
I never thought I'd be as old as Max. <laughs> thank you, everybody. Thank you, thank you. I hate surprise parties, especially when it's my birthday party. I like surprise parties for other people. I just don't like it for myself. It's just one of those things. I don't celebrate birthdays anymore. There's no need. It's depressing celebrating birthdays at this point. It is not. You're like, <laughs> I manage this year, this age, and look. Still looks well. You feel like twenty. Yeah, well, yeah, I think that's everybody. We feel like we're still twenty in our head, but then <laughs> you wake up in the morning after a day of kiting, and you're like, "Ooh, yeah, all right, sixty, well, got it." I think a twenty-year-old will feel that too. <laughs> so one of the things that we haven't mentioned because we haven't been recording a whole lot is the fact that we are going to stay down here another summer. So today we came out to grab a couple of mini splits which are air conditioners for the RVs because the RV air conditioners suck and they just don't keep up with the heat for the summer. So we came into San Jose and we're gonna do Jasmine's for breakfast. For breakfast. breakfast, lunch. This place this is awesome. <laughs> Buenos dias. All right, we wound up sitting at one of the tables right out by the street, which is kind of cool. We're on the patio. Now, during the Thursday night of our walks, you guys have seen us. Normally, we're over on that step over there and filming the dancers. This place is really inexpensive for lunch, and it is absolutely beautiful place. And I'll take you inside and show you some of it as well. Pretty cool though. All right, check out this food. I've got huevos rancheros. Got some potatoes and beans there. Salsas in the middle. Lori, what do you have? This is a jasmine special and it's like uh, eggs on a tortilla and it has mole on top of it and plantain around. Very cool. Yeah. And we were told, oh, oh you moved this around so yeah. now I don't know. Gringo salsa. No. Gringo salsa, not gringo salsa. So he said this is just a little bit hot. Uh, and then, That's a lot hot. Uh, yeah, this is picoso. This is muy picoso. That has habanero. And habanero and stuff. So he said be very careful with that one. So good stuff. say Lorena that place just doesn't get old it's really reasonably priced for as beautiful a restaurant as yes. it is it's cheaper than Los Barillas anywhere in Los Barillas it is less expensive than most of the restaurants in Los Barillas hopefully you heard us with that truck going by <laughs> but it is it's less expensive than almost every restaurant in Los Barillas for breakfast anyways we were just asking about the Thursday night art walk about the dancing and stuff and how far in advance we have to do that and they were saying that anywhere from a week to two weeks if we want to get a spot for that so we might do that we've never done that we've always seen the dancing outside yeah but we never have had dinner inside where <laughs> they have different dances and they have live music so there's entertainment inside and i will say that cool. this this place is really cool in here <laughs> kelly and craig you'll remember that spot i think they got some kind of crazy drink in there but an the april spritz. an april spritz that's right what a memory that's because your... I like them, I have them too. Ah, okay. <laughs> San Jose is really cool for the Thursday Night Art Walk, but it's just a pretty little town all the time. Like the downtown area is Talking just about beautiful. Doesn't, it doesn't get old. We can come here many, many times. Look at this. And it's just, it doesn't get old. Look at that. Look at this. Yeah. It's just such a, such a so pretty little pretty. town. So we've got a couple of hours because we dropped our car off at a car wash. 
and we've had breakfast, but we still have a little bit of time before we need to go pick that up. So let's go take a walk. Yeah, let's walk a little bit. I think that's the agave catching the attention people. I think Lorena and I are gonna have to adopt a new motto. We are artists, we are open when we arrive, we close when we leave. We just have to omit the artist part. Okay, Lorena, the one thing we have to figure out is now that the mini split adventure is over, we, we thought we were gonna be all day trying to find these mini splits, the specific ones we wanted and at the price we wanted. And so we thought, well, we're gonna have to drive to several stores, which I absolutely hate. He hates shopping. I hate shopping. I, I hunt. I like to go, okay, that's my target, go yeah. get it. I'm hunting for what I need. Paul is like a one-stop guy. Yeah, I'm a one-stop guy. We got lucky and the very first place that we went this morning happened to have the units that we wanted, which was really cool. So now we don't have to hunt anymore, Lori. We can go have fun. What are we gonna do? We're walking around. Well, we are walking around because we're getting the car washed, but I think we're gonna have to hit a beach somewhere. We're saying hello to the one is right here. Yes, look at that. Look at that. How cool is that thing? Look at that thing. That is awesome. There's an alebrije right there. A what? All right, Lori was trying to point this out and I didn't know what the heck she was pointing at. You're gonna have to explain what this at is. Alebrije. And if you know what alebrije is, just go and watch Coco. Yes, that's right. <laughs> All the spirit animals from Coco. Yes. Alebrije. Perfecto. Ruta gastronomica means that it is a route for all of the pubs and eateries. That's kind of nice. You think I need a, a mask? What are you saying, Lori? These are all the missions that are down here. We've been to Loreto, we've been to San Francisco Javier, Santa Rosalia de Mulegé, San Ignacio, we've been to that one. I don't think we've been to San Luis Gonzaga. I don't think we've been to Santiago de las Cores. No. Todos Santos, yes, and La Paz, yes. So, interesting. We gotta find out where these ones are and then go there. We tried really hard to walk by the ice cream place, but it didn't work out so well. Look at this. Chicle, or bubble gum, obviously. And pistachio. pistachio. Boring flavor, fun flavor. Delicious kids act. <laughs> uh, yes, I am still 12 years old. I have to get bubble gum ice cream, it's amazing. But we are now wandering back to the car and gonna grab it from the car wash and head over to the beach somewhere. Grab a couple of drinks and just go plop ourselves on the beach. We got the car finished. They did an amazing job. Full wash, inside, out, wiped everything down, vacuum, and it was 250 pesos? Plus tip. Plus tip, of course. The car looks amazing. It hasn't looked that good in I don't know how long. And then we decided <laughs> that we would come on over here to Pescadito Break and kick back in front of the ocean, grab a drink, maybe some guacamole. This has become one of our favorite places when we come to San Jose Runs. We love because they have a bar right on the wall overlooking the water. Yeah, check that out. We're right here at the on the beach. So it's just nice. And then so they brought the sand in so that we can be we can be barefoot here. The whole restaurant is sand. You can kick back anywhere at any of the chairs. 
and be in the sand. I have found that people are saying, oh my God, I can put my feet in the sand, how cool. And other people are like, oh, yucky. I don't want to see the people's feet. So there is always big spills. Are about you talking it. about Richard, maybe? No, I was talking <laughs> people in general are that way. But let's enjoy our time here. Well, Lorraine and I made it back from San Jose del Cabo after our quick supply run. We got our two AC units, which is cool. Now I gotta figure out where we're gonna put them in here. My initial thought was the back wall, but then I don't know if the slide has to come in for a hurricane, if that's gonna work. So have some figuring out to do, but that's all we've got for this one. So it would be awesome if you liked the video. And if you're first time here, it'd be cool if you hung out with us a little bit, got to know us. That means you should hit that subscribe button. And we'll see you again in the next episode.